priorities in there? What, what, what's important to you in the development of a product? You know, One of the things that really hurt Apple was after I left, John Scully got a very serious disease. And that disease, I've seen other people get it too, it's, um, it's the disease of thinking that a really great idea is 90% of the work. And that if you just tell your, all these other people, you know, here's this great idea, then of course they can go off and make it happen. And the problem with that is, is that there's a, just a tremendous amount of craftsmanship in, in between a great idea and a great product. And as you evolve that great idea, it changes and grows. It never comes out like it starts because you learn a lot more as you get into the subtleties of it. And you also find there's tremendous trade-offs that you have to make. I mean, you know, there are, there are just certain things you, you can't make electrons do. There are certain things you can't make plastic do or glass do. And, and, and as you get into, or factories do, or robots do, and as you get into all these things, designing a product is keeping 5,000 things in your brain, these concepts, and fit, fitting them all together in, in, in kind of continuing to push to fit them together in new and different ways to get what you want. And every day you discover something new that is a new problem or a new opportunity to fit these things together a little differently. And it's that process that is the magic. What is going on, people of the internet? Y'all probably thought, what the heck? It's gonna go live at this this time? Well, this time of an hour. Midnight my time. Ain't nothing but a thing. The West Coast, y'all still y'all still looking to see what you can see. And my friends on the other side of the pond, you already know I got some some treats in store for you guys today. If this is your first time hanging out on the Chatbot Podcast, or seeing any material from Tap the Table, welcome. We are going to talk about some restaurant tech today. I've got one of my favorite things that I like to talk about. Are these fancy, schmancy NFC cards here. NFC cards. I showed you guys a couple episodes back on how easy it is to create one of these NFC cards use the uh, NFC or the QR code to open up a business card and that is cool but there are many many other uses for NFC one of them might be to order food easily from your table another reason to use NFC may be to surprise and delight your guests surprise and delight is always a good thing it's always in style and there's always ROI if you know how to run your marketing campaigns. So in this case, what we are going to do is we're going to hook up to our, our old friend here, Reflector. And I'm going to share my screen of my phone so you guys can see the magic here. Because that's really the only other way I know how to describe it. It's just magic. It's social media magic, folks. That is what it is. So we've got our camera open here. We've got our phone open, and we've got a little NFC tag 
underneath my little uh, mouse pad here. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tap my phone ever so slightly and we get the notification. And in this case, folks, folks guess where we end up? Wing Stops Messenger with a get started button at the bottom. We're gonna click the button and what's gonna happen? I believe we're gonna get a chance, folks, to spin the wheel to win some chicken. Who wouldn't want to win free chicken? Am I right or am I right? So we've got some typing action going on. Who knew that their community manager would be up this late? All right. Oh, you don't want to see me too much. Here, let's, let's see if we can shift this thing back here just a little bit. Uh, you don't want to see too much of Ryan here. You want to see more of the phone. This will work. So <clears throat> we've got a little GIF here, and we've got some messaging going on. How did this happen? I tapped my phone on the table, folks. Okay, I tapped my phone on the table, and all of a sudden, wing stop. No, it's, this is not their community manager. This is AI. I tap my phone and all of a sudden, we have ready to spin to win some chicken. Win free chicken? Yes, that's what I wanna do. So I tap the button, okay? Maybe I'm sitting at my table at Wingstop or maybe I scanned the QR code, who knows? In this case, we're showing you the, the customer journey from the time they've entered in your, your funnel. And in this case, the funnel is all about winning some free chicken. So the completely on-brand messaging, right? <laughs> Not robotic messaging says, love chicken. Well, here's your chance to win some on us. You're about to get the chance to spin the chicken wheel. And you know, I'm not, I wouldn't want to be the person's friend who, who wouldn't spin the chicken wheel. Like everyone must. Spin the chicken wheel. And so, okay, we've got some options here. We can spin the chicken wheel in a multitude of ways. We can take a big spin, a super spin, a soft spin, or we could say, I don't care, just spin, fool. What should we choose, y'all? Should we do a big spin to win some chicken? Should we do a super spin? I don't know what we should do here. I think Wendy... She says she's still up. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna say I don't care, just spin fool. That's what we're gonna do. And then what happens here? Wing stop, their community manager, who who just never stops working, typing, says, What? Who are you calling a fool? Right? <laughs> this, my friends, is social media. This is game. This is how you do it. Do you, do you see? This is where you could just plainly ask a simple question. You could do that. Or you could freaking let someone spin to win some chicken. Give them the chance to win or not. Maybe they don't win every time because if everyone's a winner, that's not even a game. In this case, I built the game and I lost. So, of course, I'm going to spin again. Duh. No one's going to call Ryan a loser and get away with it without me getting some sort of prize, right? Bam. So here we go. Spin again. We're going to spin this chicken wheel. And this time Ryan's going to win something. Bam! Won it. Do you see what kind of brand experience that we're having with Wingstop right now? Do you understand that I just tapped my email address now that they've got it in their database? They could easily email the kid now. Now they're asking me for my phone number. And I'm going to be a troll and be like, ABC. How about that? ABC. Nope. They're like, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Give us the real number, man. So, bam. Tap. Done. Now they've got the number. Wing stop. What you gonna do with this? All right. Boom. Who, who the heck is texting? Man, who's texting Ryan right now? Bam. Wing stop's texting me. Wing stop's texting me, man. Because they're trying to get me to come in lunchtime tomorrow, get my free wings. It says, from Wingstop official, here's your free wings, here's your coupon, and, and they really got me here, they said, you must redeem within 72 hours of this point in time, <laughs> right, this is, this is social media, folks, this happened in Messenger, now, let's do a little something here, what say you, 
folks. Actually, let's go ahead. Let's let's tell them. We could either select the date and say, you know, my birthday is coming up. I could just tell them with that. But, you know, I'm going to say, because I'm a human, and I don't even want to touch buttons right now in Messenger, right? I'm going to mess up the whole scheme. I'm just going to say, in four days from now, bam. Do y'all think that Tap the Table knows? Do y'all think? I'll tell you right now. Tap the Table knows. You could totally rely on the extremely smart, intelligent AI that we built for you. So when I jump into my customers tab and I look for Ryan in Messenger, where am I at here? Bam, here I am. There we go. Where's my birthday? Where's my birthday? Let me see my birthday. Man, we don't see my birthday. Believe me, we know my birthday. <laughs> We've got the birthday club built right in here. There's a lot of different, <laughs> different Ryans here because I have done some testing, some Google testing, some Instagram testing. If I need to add in information, we can do that. We can put the, the email here, no problem. Needs to be updated, no problem. Anything that we really want to do, we can just kind of do it because this is the internet unlocked, my friends. Even on Instagram, here I am, here I am. Now, what else do we want to do here? Let's show you guys the new and improved uh, shop here. I think that's that would be fun. Let's look at the shop since we're, since we're already open. Go to your NFC links and tap on your store link, okay? Let's open up a new tab here. Paste. Bam. Do y'all see how gangster this looks? This looks better than freaking Wing Wingstop's deal they've got right now and to have the tables way faster so this is all cool we've got many different options here you can choose bone in we can choose boneless we can choose mixed wings of course we're going to be able to choose our special dip we want to have some hawaiian sauce we can do that let's go ahead and add some lemon pepper too and because we are balling we are going to go with the cheese fries add it to the cart we're ready to rock do y'all see how easy this is now we can choose to have this delivered or we can pick it up and in this case tap tap tippity tap and then we're going to leave a big old fat 100 percent tip paying cash that is how it is done we get our receipt it says thanks for placing your order i'll send you notifications and here's the receipt ryan you're all set homie everything's easy peasy again i can tap my phone i can open that up and i can enter a contest i can change this link and and do anything that i want to do what what should we do in this case let's go ahead and we'll show you something fun here let's go ahead and hit our marketing section here let's go to our nfc links and go to our store now this deal i keep tapping to show y'all how it's done we're gonna go over to the magic links section we're gonna find wing stop where's wing stop bam right here we're gonna edit this bad boy and paste so in this case we do want to make sure we've got the https colon slash slash prefix there now what's gonna happen whenever i tap my phone we're not going to go to um, the chat anymore, or are we? In this case, we did. Okay, so watch this. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll go straight to the tag. That must be what I did. It's late, y'all. It's late. So here's the link we're going to open up. We're going to open up our NFC. And that is exactly what we did. We just went straight to the tag. So in this case, we're gonna paste this bad boy right y'all make sure we don't have 
two prefixes. And let's first, to be safe, we're gonna erase our original piece. Tap, erased. Now we got a clean NFC tag. And now what we're gonna do is write that bad boy. Tap. So now we're official. Let's double check it. We're ready to rock. We remember before we were opening up into that messenger funnel. In this case, now we can see it's opening up into our app. Of course we have an app. Let's go back to our demo here and let's change the look. And this is one of the updates that we've got. Instead of just a card, we're gonna go with um, a square image now. We'll hit save. We'll tap our phone and get set NFC. Bam, and you can see that it's changed to a square. In this case, let's change it to an image cover. Rectangle, save, tap, rectangle. Let's change it to a list. Save, whoops, save, tap, bam. Do y'all see? This is how it's done. This is, there, there can't be an easier way to, to order. I just, I don't see it. And it's beautiful, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Now, if your food is not beautiful, or if you're you're selling something that image is just, just not necessary, no, no worries, man. That's cool. What I would suggest you do there, shawty, is <laughs> choose list without image, then hit save. And when you tap your phone, guess what's gonna happen? That image is gone, son. So if you don't want an image, no problem. You can sell anything you want to sell. Super fast, super easy. That's not all you can do, my friends. Let's go ahead and show you the, the real fun stuff here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I've just completely automated the entire community management experience, okay? What do I mean by that? Coming from someone who for years has been a like huge advocate and you know actual professional community manager for many many brands businesses big and small I can assure you community management is very important but I've automated the entire deal here and I'm going to show you what I mean in the case I am a happy customer or disgruntled customer this is called sediment for those that don't know if I have a positive sediment uh, maybe I want to surprise and delight right like I originally was showing you guys but if I have negative sediment if I'm you know indicating that I'm not happy or the brand or the restaurant or the business is screwed up I need a resolve I need a solution I want it fast because every moment that I've not got my resolution it's another moment I'm getting more furious as a customer I'm always right that's what I heard so in this case I'm gonna say last Time the food was nasty okay so I just left this comment on their page now what's gonna happen okay I got a, a message what did the message say the message says crap tap to continue <laughs> tell us what we did wrong huh tell us what we did wrong huh so let me come back here now let's make sure we know what's happening Okay, so let's come over here. We see we got two comments now. Last time the food was nasty. The page responded, DM sent. Okay, so what was the response here? Crap, tell us what went wrong by clicking the button below. Tap to continue. What's the problem, Ryan? Food was nasty. <laughs> okay. So sorry about that. Please provide your email address and we'll reach back out. Now, understand, do you see how fast that the resolution can come? Obviously, as your brand, you're going to want this language to match what it is you'd have your community manager say for the most part. Okay, so it was asking me for my name, phone number, blah, blah, blah. Let's come back over here. And then this time, let's show some positive sentiment, okay? let's let's show let's go ahead and say on the same post even you know just to just to prove the point what we want to do is make sure that we're commenting as a individual a personal profile 
I'm gonna go to the page and I'm gonna say, I loved the food last time. It was delicious. Now, we're gonna leave that comment and we're gonna see, is, is their community manager sleeping yet? Nope. Their community manager's already hitting me. Already hitting me just like they should. So look here, I wanna show you all the difference because this is very important. The first time that I commented, guys, okay, this one, it says, last time the food was nasty. DM sent dot, dot, dot. So this is not a very happy response. And no, they did not like that comment because why would you like a comment that says the food is nasty? This doesn't make sense. Okay, so what we have done here is understood sediment. We understood, I love the food. Last time it was delicious. And so because of the sediment is positive, they got inboxed. Inboxed you and liked, liked, liked that comment. And in our messenger, we have a different scenario happening. Instead of, what was the problem, Ryan? Instead of that, what do we get? You rock. Tap below to claim your gift. Tap to continue here. So rock on. Give us your email. Tell us your phone number. And I needed to change that here. It asked for my phone number in the text, but it didn't um, ask. They didn't pull my phone number. Pulled my email. And the reason for that is here. Um, for the positive piece, watch this. So here's my positive funnel. And what I need to do here is change our reply type to phone, hit save, and publish. So now we can preview this. You rock, tap to continue. There's the email, perfect. There's the phone number, perfect. And we'll get back with you soon. You guys sell any wings? So we're asking them, community manager, yo, what kind of wings do you got? Bam, here's our wings. Y'all see? This is how it's supposed to work. Not any other way. We want boneless or bone-in. Of course, we want the boneless, and we want the hickory smoked and the Cajun. And we're gonna say, well done, please. Add it to our cart. Perfect. We wanna check out, we can check out. Bam, here we go. And email. Bam, and phone number. Boom. Let's go ahead and leave that 100% 100 tip coming at you. Bam, thanks for your order. And notice, this time, folks, instead of text message, like we originally ordered from when we tapped, we tapped and it opened up here. Instead of getting the uh, receipt text message to us, we got it in Messenger. We got a nice little receipt in Messenger that, that shows what we purchased. Now, you, you know, I can't just like leave without, um, and shout out to my man Kyle, I'll have to throw the picture back on there. We can't just like not show you that this is just epic in Instagram. Wings, please. We should be able to make this purchase very, very easily in IG too. That's what everybody wants, right? Instagram. Do y'all see? Everything's the same. Everything's the same in Tap the Table Land, man. Everything's the same and everything's good. Checkout's easy peasy. And actually, this is a really cool feature in Instagram's checkout. When the first time you, you make a purchase, tap the table.io. The first time you make a purchase is gonna ask you, well, do you wanna autofill? Bam. And I totally put my name, my email, where my name was supposed to be. So there it is. There's my autofill. You know, you're gonna tip the whole hundred. Bam. Just like that. And my contact was updated. I'll tell you what, IG is off the chain. So let's let's try it again. Let's say um, let's say wings again. Wings. Is she gonna hit us with the wings again? Let's just see. Did Instagram save my
contact info already? I bet you they did. Check out. Let's check it. Bam, son. I tell y'all, this this technology stuff, man, it's getting better. It's getting better in front of our eyes. So we just made a purchase in Facebook Messenger. We made a purchase in Instagram. We made a purchase via an NFC tap, a tappity tap on the web into an app we customized four different times as far as the visual layout goes. That's how we do it. Last thing we'll show you, where those orders live. They must live somewhere. Here's where they live. In the orders section. So this is from the web, no photo from the web. This should be IG, I believe. This should be Ryan and Messenger, bam, there I am. Here is my, my profile, right y'all. And that's how you do it. That is how you do it, folks. I think that might do it for tonight. I think we just like just straight show y'all this is how technology should be working in 2021. Your restaurant, your small business, your big business must provide the answers super fast, super efficiently, super efficient. And you must build your list. Make the sale, build the list. That's how you do it in 2021 and beyond. If you're not making the sales and you're not building the list, you are doing it wrong. And don't do it wrong, guys. <laughs> the answer is here. And, and it's easy and automatic. Thank y'all for watching. 